stress is connected to the amygdala, which is connected to the fear-based response system, the human sort of alarm that 100,000 years ago was a way of being on alert against predators. Today, we've co-opted our fear response, we've co-opted our stress response, and we channel it towards creative ends. Stress can be healthy, and it actually has to do with one's intent. So this is where consciousness, uh, this is where agency plays a key role. If you make the active choice of deciding that I'm gonna use this agitation and this energy and this stress towards creative ends for creative purposes, you actually can tell your body to react to it in a way that is not as pathological so that you don't actually get the ill effects of stress. You actually leverage that heightened energy, maybe the adrenaline, and you get things done without having, again, the negative effects. There's a great line that says, everything good and great begins at the edge of your comfort zone, and it's so true. Human beings do well when they oscillate between those sort of hyper-focused, creatively stressed moments of deep engagement, and then like decompress, relax, unplug, chill out, breathe in, 